Hello everyone. Good afternoon this afternoon. The sun is shining brightly. And I'm gonna lie you everywhere just hot. But we thank God, Sha. We thank God for life. I want to say something very important. If you are an actor or a celebrity, if you be celebrity, I want to talk to you. I want to talk to some of my colleagues or every of my colleagues. But eventually, someone will listen to me and understand my point and make adjustment. I want you to know that as a celebrity, as an actor, you are the synosure of all people, of everything. Everything attracts itself to you and you attract everything. Everything wants to come to you. But it's not everything you must go to. Everybody may want to talk to you, but it's not everybody you must talk to. Three important things I want to let you know as a celebrity, as an actor. Tell yourself the truth as you're hearing me. Don't doubt. Don't try to argue with your spirit or argue with your mind. See, what it's like to talk self. You know, we mind in business. Mm -mm. I learned from even the most insignificant person or the youngest in any place because I humble myself, I listen, I pick what is good and I move with it. So if you will oblige me to do the same, zero your mind and just listen to me carefully. As an actor, I need you to understand that you have two lives. Matter of fact, three lives that you live in. First of all, if you're a Christian, you have two lives. You have your spiritual life that you're born again and the physical life which you, as a matter of fact, are living because you are in this world, but you are not of this world. So, as an actor, there's the third one. You have your fictitious life, the fiction life. That's when the camera is facing you. That life is fiction. It's called make-believe. That is not who you are. So as an actor, learn to separate your real life from your fictitious life. Learn to separate reality from fiction. As I did so now, I don't mix my real life with my movie life. As I did so now, I don't mingle the two. I separate them. They can never meet. They can never match. In real life, ask anybody that knows me in Toto, those who know me very well. I'm a church boy. I'm a Christian, born again, full of the Holy Ghost, tongues talking. I'm an evangelist. I speak God's word. I lead people to Christ. But in the movies, bad guy, wicked guy, dangerous man. I shoot, I smoke, drink, all of that in the movie. These are make-believes. So that you think this is who I am. I'm interpreting a character. I'm interpreting a character. That character is not me. Once the camera rolls, I put on that personality that I'm supposed to be in the film. And once it's a wrap, I drop that personality and move into my real life. I don't mix the two because that is where the danger is. If you are not able to discipline yourself to separate your real life from your movie life, you will suffer. You will suffer. You will make mistakes. If in your real life, 
if sorry, if in, in your movie life, you are a rich man, big man, multi-millionaire, but in reality, you don't have that kind of money. Don't try to carry that mentality of a movie life into your reality. You will only be deceiving yourself. Before you know it, you start living above your means just because you want to measure up. In real life, if you're a womanizer, an infidel, don't carry that personality that you have been playing or you played in a movie into real life and begin to chase other people's wife or begin to flirt around. Begin to become promiscuous. Whether you are an actor or you are an actress, film is film. Reality is reality. Learn to discipline yourself to separate the two. In your real life, maybe, sorry, in your movie life, maybe you are acting as a pastor. Don't try to come into reality and then claim that you are a pastor because you acted well in the movie. And everybody says, ah, that pastor will fit you well, well. You know, say if you go open church and then suddenly you are now in this reality. You want to become a pastor. You are mingling the two. In your movie life, you were 419, arm robber, bad guy. And then you saw the way you did it. It was so good. Then you feel, say, arm robbery go fit you for reality. They could kill you. EFCC go bab you. Learn to separate your film life, your movie life from your real life. That's what I'm talking to. That's what I'm talking about to my celebrity guys. In movie, you're a smoker, you're a drinker, you're a bad artist, drug addict. You come to movie life, you're doing the same thing, my brother. You could suffer. There are so many of them here now that are suffering. I'm just discussing with one person. And that's what motivates me to do this video. I was just discussing with one of my uh, 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 colleagues that social and super person don't go mad. I'm like, what? How? drug addiction you're a bad guy in the film you just smoke you just drink you just smoke cocaine all those things you put powder for nose ah, then you come in reality you want to practice the same you will destroy yourself you will just be wasted of what learn to separate your real life from your movie life be careful as you see me so I cannot mingle my bad character in the movie into reality no they're not the same. I don't smoke in reality. I don't drink. I don't club. Ask people who know me. They will tell you. But in the film, all those ones, once camera is rolling, bah! Please don't enter. I do whatever I need to do. But once it's a wrap, cut, and shot, I'm off. I take off that personality and put on the real personality, which is me church boy so i'm making this video to help some of us so that we don't have much crazy people in nollywood so that everybody no go think say now nah, so everybody be so that people who want to come into nollywood their parents can allow them to come into nollywood and make money and be successful and exhibit their talents in reality, you be a shower, you be Ross girl. You come for reality. Sorry, in, in movie, you be a shower, be, you be Ross girl. You come for reality again. You want country, they do their shower, they do the Ross girl again. Ah, ah, haba, haba mana. Be careful so that you don't waste your life. Remember, you have people following you. And that brings me to another thing I want to talk about. As a celebrity, you are the synosure of all people. People want to hear you. They want to hear what you want to say. They want to hear what you are saying. And they will follow. So be careful so that you don't deceive people. Be careful so that you don't deceive people because God is going to hold you responsible. He gave you that stardom. That is if it is God that gave you the stardom. Really. Because Satan said they give people stardom. But if it is God that gave you that stardom, it is for a purpose. So that you don't deceive people. You don't act the way that people will now begin to think, oh, I see this guy and I saw him they do for film. And I saw him come before real life. Oh, ah, yeah. So I saw him they be sha. I know see, all these people where they act drum robbers. Some of them don't thief before. Some people will start having that mentality. I know see this girl, she act this as shower well. Ah, a girl, eh? 
you will be real as shower. And then suddenly they saw you standing on the street or doing runs. What did you tell them? You already make them believe that ah, that thing you're doing in the movie is true. You're doing it in real life too. So be careful so that you don't send the wrong signals. You don't give the wrong interpretation. Just like a banker now. He knows that the money he's counting is not his money. Anytime where he carry him thief, he will catch him. He will go to prison. My wife was telling me how she was when she was in the banking se sector. Before they employ them, they take them somewhere at Kirikli to go and see first. See people who are in Kirikli that stole money and bezel money. Say so if you misbehave in the bank, that's how they will put you there. Because it's people's money. You don't go and steal it. Because you're a banker, you have access to it, then you can take it and do whatever you want to do with it. You go to prison. So the same thing I'm trying to tell us now. Be careful, celebrity, be careful. Be careful what you post. Be careful what you say. Be careful how you address people. Be, free, be careful. Some people were just seeing me every time they see me with barrettes. They say, ah, it's like a cult guy. I say, look, I know the cult is too. I don't belong to any cult. This has been my fashion right from time in memoria. Ask people who know me far back in Medugri. This is how I usually dress. I have different colors. I have all colors of bandana. Anyone I see, I buy it because I like it. It is my fashion style. I fly every color. I've never been a cultist. I'll never be a cultist. The only fraternity I belong is the fraternity of heaven. The fraternity of heaven. That's the one I belong. And Jesus Christ is my leader. He's my capon. He's the one that rules and reigns. And I reign and rule through him. So, my brothers, my sisters, forget it. Learn to separate your reality from fiction learn to separate reality from fiction learn to separate reality from fiction you are not who you are on tv you are who you are outside tv when the cameras are not rolling and even as a celebrity when the cameras are rolling maybe you're making a personal video i said be careful what you say be careful what you say be careful what you do because there are people watching you. There are people following you. You have followers. God gave them to you. Without them, you are not a celebrity. And many of them want to do what you want to do. That's why, that's why companies look for celebrities to endorse them as ambassadors. You are an ambassador to the people. You are an ambassador to your fans. You are a role model to them. So when that company calls you to endorse you, is because they see something in you that every other person is looking for. They see that you have crowd, you have people, you have fans. So they are not really getting at you. They are trying to get to your fans. They are trying to get to your followers. Because whatever they know that whatever you do, your followers will also do. Whatever you say, your followers will believe. So be careful. In a way, you are preaching. In a way, you are living your life and they are emulating you. So you need to be careful. Take this into cognizance. Let it be your daily cogitation. Understand it. And be careful. Be conscious about it. Be conscious about it. So no go to a form. A form a giddy way you know be. Me, I'm a very down-to-earth person. You can see me anywhere. But you see... I know my limits. I know when to separate myself. Say, no, this is not it. I shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be. This is not the kind of person I am. I'm not building this kind of character for myself. Because I have kids. And I have brothers. I have cousins. I have nephews who are young. And they are looking up to me. And I'm sure it's the same with some of you. I want by tomorrow, my child, when he grows... He will be able to see the things that the father did and know, oh, he'll he be proud. At least, Daddy, you tried. Daddy, you tried. So, be careful as a celebrity. This celebrity, this stardom, it comes with a lot of things. It comes with a lot of things that if you're not careful, you will just fall by the wayside. You will just fall by the wayside. That's the honest truth. There's so many temptations. Everything at your beck and call. You want these people want to give it to you. You want these people want to do it for you. 
don't let it get into your head and you start. I said I've had enough of all this nonsense going on on social media. I mean, what is it? Oginin. Every day you come out insults. What nonsense? Are you going to tell me how to live my life? No, I'm asking a question. Are you people going to tell me how to live, the decisions to make for myself? Are you going to tell a grown-up man, are you going to tell you Yudeduchi how to live his life? What nonsense? I've had it. I've had enough of all this rubbish. Okay? Who then the common sense? Or they, they, don't you people have common sense anymore? Who then the common sense? Are you not using your God-given brain anymore? What nonsense? What nonsense, I'm asking? What rubbish? Uh, you people will come and tell me how to live my life. You tell me the decision to make for myself. Something that I feel like, oh, this is what I want to do. Am I, have you seen me dictating how you live your life for you? Have you seen me telling you do this or do that? Do I judge you? What nonsense? I'm going for. I had it. Did you hear me? I said enough. The fact that I've been silent all this while does not mean that I don't know what to say. The fact that for the past two years that I've not responded to any of you, that I've not said anything does not mean the mama hengeku. But at this point, I've had it. Unamidia, I've had it. What rubbish! You see people acting as if they are Virgin Mary. Are you Jesus? Are you our Blessed Virgin Mary? Are you Jesus? What right do you have? No, seriously, ibuchuku, unabuchuku. What right do you have to judge me? Simply because every one of them, somebody will come out and say their own, and then all that will be gingering them. And then you think it gives you the right. It gives you the right to insult somebody that you don't know and continue doing it. Jesus. Are you guys not, are you guys not okay? Are you guys okay upstairs? Are you okay? No, really, are you guys okay? How do you come out every day? What you do every day is to insult somebody that insult you, okay? and then you think you're normal. You're not normal. Enough of it, Ozugo, enough of it, enough of the insults, oh, enough. You can't carry on verified gists and be running around town claiming to know you don't know anything. You're only operating based on the information. And if you open him, you won't, you won't carry half bit information. That's not how things are done. And at this point, me have had it. Okay? I am going to start exposing everybody involved in this. What I will say, the information I'm going to release, eh? You people don't even know anything. You think you do, but you don't actually know anything. And it is time because me have had it. Everybody's just keeping silence. And then they say, hi, the same corner. People are just looking to say, hey, enough of it. I am going to start exposing everybody. Okay, for that kind of worm, everybody. If for that be, okay, I'm buying telling it to it to swallow all of us this time around. Because if you're implicated in it, enjoy it. If he, if I implicate you, enjoy it. If anything I'm going to say and you find your it's trouble at the well, yeah, take it. Since all of us are acting Jesus now, I'm telling you we are all saints. Everybody is, is you know holier than thou. Enough. I'm going to expose everybody. I'm coming on life. Yes. I said, I'm coming on life. Come with your questions. Because I've had it up to here. Ozugo. I've had it. I'm going to expose every single one of you. Whatever it is you need me to address, I will address it. But my point is that enough of the insults. So that by the time I'm done with this life, then somebody will talk my phone again. So go my head and like, only God knows what will happen. Only God knows. I'm coming on life. I'm coming on life. Come tomorrow by 8 p.m. Come tomorrow by 8 p.m. And I will expose every single one of you. All the holier than thou. All the all the Chineke people. All the people acting as if ah, we are Virgin Mary. We have not done it. Ah, that girl, she's very stupid. Let's destroy her. Everybody, I will, I will expose all of you. All the lesbians in their husband's house, I will expose every single one of you. All the pimps. Okay, from the industry. All the pimps in their husband's house, pimping my married women, my single women, to married men. All of you, they expose every single one of you. Because all of you have been parading like. You're all Jesus and saints. Hey, Judy, hey, that girl is demon. Hey, you is a... Osuko. Do you 
people know how I met you? No, do you people know how I met you? Only if you my you people don't know anything. A 40-year-old man will wake up and make a decision about his own life. That you people don't know why he took that decision. And then you will come out to, to insult him. You will come out to say what you don't know. You come out to open your mouth. You come out to open your mouth to challenge him on a decision that he took for his own life. Do you people know why he made the decision? Unama. <laughs> what I'm going to expose, what I'm going to say tomorrow will shock everybody. Oh, I yeah, shock the world because I've had it. Those go, the insult, I did enough. Enough of it. Hmm? Enough of the lies. Uh, celebrities are not human beings. We don't, we, uh, they are not human beings. We don't have the same blood on our veins. Yeah? I'm going to expose a whole lot tomorrow. By 8 p.m. Ever have a man? By 8 p.m. Come with whatever question you think you have. The anger yeah. But what I'm going to say tomorrow, the, the, the gist, the main gist, inside the gist that I'm going to release tomorrow will shock you. I got shock on And at this point, <laughs> I've had it. I've had it. Enough of the silence. I've had it. Enough of the silence. I've had it. Okay? Thank you. See you people tomorrow by 8 p.m. Thank you so much for watching this video. For daily entertainment, news, and celebrity good and bad updates, and all you need to know that's happening in the country, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell to always stay connected to us. One love and God bless you all. Don't forget to thumbs up to this video and comment down below what you think about this.